Hi, my name is Fazia Mirza and I am a queer Muslim South Asian woman. Now, I've been told a lot in my life, even people say it to me now, you can't be queer and Muslim at the same time. Here's what I have to say. Yes, I can. Yes, we can. And yes, you can. Because here's the thing, everyone, for the extent of your life is going to have an opinion on who you are and how you're supposed to live that life. And the way I've learned to survive is you gotta transcend that noise. You gotta transcend that noise, create your own identity and be exactly who your authentic self is. One of the other things to remember is that every day is not always that easy. It is sometimes a struggle to, to get out of bed. It's sometimes a struggle to be that person that you know you are. It's sometimes a struggle to put on a happy face and have a front facing like joyful day. And on those days and in those moments, just be kind to yourself. Have compassion for yourself. Have compassion that, you know what? This moment's gonna be hard. This moment's a struggle. And maybe I don't have as much energy today and that's okay. Compassion and kindness for yourself is essential to being who you are as well. And one of the other things that I've found that's helped me is art, comedy, and storytelling. When I have all these feelings where I feel confused or uncertain or depressed, like I will channel it into writing and creating. And honestly, art and comedy saved my life. The, one of the first times that I felt unsure about my identity when I was first coming out, when I was grappling with whether I could be queer and Muslim at the same time, I made a short film. And in that short film, I had this really public conversation about my really private internal struggles but it helped me. It helped me sort through all that mess of confusion. And I was like, oh wait, yeah, I totally can be this because this is who I am. Actually, um, one of the other reasons that I find a lot of comfort and safety and power in performing and storytelling is because it makes me feel less alone because I also realize that it's helping somebody else feel less alone. So I was performing my one person show in Pakistan in the city of Lahore. And afterwards I got this Facebook message and it was from this young woman who was at the show. And um, she said in her message, you know, I came up to you, I wanted to talk to you, but I couldn't. And it was because I was having a realization that I'd never told anybody this thing that I'm about to tell you. And then she tells me that she's coming out to me and I'm the first person that she's ever come out to as queer. Now, obviously I cried because that was a really beautiful sharing and story of hers. And I felt really grateful that we had this moment. But also I realized that by seeing my story, she realized it was connecting to her story. And, and that's beautiful. And it reminds me that like, it's not just me as a performer, my story that matters, it's your story that matters. We're all storytellers. So if it feels safe to do so, share your story be who you are. I want to hear it. I want to hang out with you. I want to see you. You matter.